a diplomatic doubleheader. The Indian Prime Minister and US Secretary of State holding court in Port Moresby as both nations move to entrench and expand their ties to the Pacific. India sees common ground with the Pacific on climate change and wants developing countries to have a bigger say on the global stage. The Pacific sees New Delhi as a natural leader for emerging economies. We need a big third voice to be active for the small island nations at G20, at G7. And India is only too happy to oblige. During these difficult times, the old adage was proven true. A friend in need is a friend indeed. I'm glad that India, during these challenging times, stood by their Pacific Island friends. Modi's presence looks even more significant in the absence of US President Joe Biden, who cancelled his visit to PNG last week. But his last-minute replacement, Antony Blinken, has still chalked up a major win, signing a new defence pact that would open the door to an expanded US military presence here in PNG. We are deeply invested in the Indo-Pacific because our planet's future is being written here. And Papua New Guinea is playing a critical role in shaping that future. The military deal has stoked protests in Port Moresby, while other countries across the region are watching carefully. We welcome US involvement in the Pacific. They are a Pacific nation. Uh, and it's a great thing to see. We can see that it's an extension of an existing relationship and it isn't just about uh, you know, military presence, it's also about you know, um, development. A diplomatic dance with deep consequences. Tim Swanston, ABC News, Port Moresby.